Hello everyone, so I did Botox for the very first time with my 25 years of age and here's what happened You might ask why do you want to do Botox or why did you do Botox for the first time when you're only 25 years old and you have no wrinkle in your whole face so well the reason why I did it is that I did extensive research and I listened to a lot of plastic surgeons and they all said basically the same thing. So Botox, what does Botox? Botox numbs your muscles and that's why you can't build those lines because if your muscles are numb, when you do that, that, like that, that, they don't move, like those muscles don't move and you only build lines if those muscles move a lot and then like the more you use those the more a line is, is building basically I hope I explain it right but that's how I would explain it and how it was explained to me and that's the reason why you do Botox so that you won't use those muscles and you won't form any lines so if you think about that it does not make any sense to put in Botox if you already have huge lines because then the only thing that it will do is prevent those lines from getting even like even bigger or deeper but it won't like make those lines magically disappear because if those lines are really deep you would need filler to fill them up and Botox to prevent lines from building even more so you would need both of them so I think for me and for a lot of other people it just makes totally sense to use Botox before those lines are building like before those lines can develop to deep lines and I always said to myself I will start Botox when I will first see lines appearing and that was a few months ago because I'm at the moment studying all the time for a very hard test and when I'm studying like I anyway have quite a mimic like a mimicly face like I do that all the time but when I'm studying I'm frowning my forehead just 24 7 like if I'm concentrating I'm frowning and I have that from my mom she does that as well and if I'm frowning 24 7 while studying I just use those muscles a lot lot more than I would in, an, in the normal circumstances like in my normal day-to-day -day life so for me it made sense to do Botox now when I know that I use those muscles a lot more because the chances of forming lines whilst I use those so so much and whilst I frown so much are just very very high and I saw it after a few months of studying like after three four months of studying I saw lines appearing here which would not go away like even when my face was resting they were very 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 thin and very faint but you can see them like you could see them and I just filmed this clip before I went to go and get Botox do you see that? Do you see those lines there? I really see them like here, here and here. That's horrible, like horrible. Hopefully I can't do that later. Botox, how it looked three days after it. Keep in mind that now it's only three days after the injection and they say that you should wait like up to one or two weeks after to see like the full result because Botox just takes a little bit to work on your face so like I think today is like the first day that I think if I frown that it looks different and now you see how I look if I, when I frown now you see you still see like I can move my eyebrows that's a myth you can still see, you can just not see as many lines here and now I'm here after the week one week and I'm showing you how it looks now so first of all my forehead if I do that that do you see that I can still move my eyebrows as high as I did before but the good thing is that I just don't get any lines like I lift my eyebrows no lines here the only lines I have are like here do you see that here above my eyebrows but that's because there is no Botox in there so 
I kind of think it's amazing like I'm like it feels weird but I can't, it kind of also doesn't feel weird because now after one and a half years like I kind of already got used to the feeling of the forehead and it feels totally normal again so I'm actually very very impressed with it and I have to say that my biggest fear with Botox was that like it would look it would that it would look weird or that I couldn't move my eyebrows anymore but I did not realize that you can move your eyebrows as good as before but but the only difference is that there won't be any lines there and also I can tell you that I've only told my boyfriend like after one week that I did it and he did not notice it before like my face does not look any different the only difference is that you see it when I do that but like I told you I only do that when I'm studying and that's why I did it right now so now you saw that there were those lines and that I was a little bit scared of getting Botox and yeah I now just talk to you about my experience so I went to my doctor and I was like well I'm not 100% sure if I will get Botox now. I'll just, I just want to talk to him and let him explain to me what it does, what he thinks, everything like that. And I can only tell you, he was extremely patient with me. He explained me everything in detail, like literally in detail. And at the end, I decided to do Botox here in my frown lines because those were the lines that I was starting to see and also whilst we were at it putting a little bit here so that it will lift my eyebrows a little bit so a little bit of a Botox brow lift and I just I will film after that a whole video after the Botox brow lift because a lot of people are very curious about the Botox brow lift and so I just wanted to explain it in its separate video but here it just it's just about my first time Botox experience so I went there and at the end he said he said to me well if you wait another few months like those lines will not get drastically worse because you're only 25 but they will also not get better so it doesn't it's just really up to you what you want to do and I was like well I'm studying so much and I, I just use my like I frown all the time so I just want to get it now I don't know if I will get it super short after um, I'm done with my tests again or if I will wait another few years before getting it again because I just want to use it now because I frown all the time so now those lines were forming like I probably frown in those six months of studying I will probably frown as much as I would usually frown in like four years if you know what I mean so I just wanted to get it now and then I asked him well if I get it now and then not get it for a few years will they get worse and he assured me that they won't get worse they will just start forming again as if I would have not used it like when you have Botox it's just like time freeze and then the time will go on again so that was reassuring so I don't have any pressure of using it all the time after now but I can if I want to so then I was like okay yes let's do it and I was scared because I'm a little baby when it comes to um, needles and stuff like that like I have no problem with taking blood out of my arm but in my face like I cry every time I get my eyebrows threaded because my skin around my eyes is so sensible so yeah I'm not really pain resistant let's put it that way so I was quite a bit scared and then he told me I have to leave my eyes open because he also had has had to put it here because of my Botox brow lift so I had to leave my eyes open and I was scared and I was like does it hurt a lot and he was like no it doesn't hurt a lot sometimes it kind of feels like a little bit of an itching but it doesn't hurt and I was like oh <gasps> it will hurt like hell i will like if it if he puts it that way it will probably hurt so so much and he only says that to make me calm and i was like i was like that i was like a stiff like a stiff like really stiff I was like that and i filmed it for you how it was when he put it 
in my brows here so I will just show it right now so as you might be able to see it did not hurt at all like you kind of feel a little peaks but to be completely honest threading my eyebrows hurts 10 times more than getting Botox and like also here even though the skin is so thin there it does not hurt at all which is amazing it's just it's just really 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 amazing and yeah that's my experience it did not hurt at all and I just first wanted to know everything to decide then and it did not hurt at all and then we come to the price so the prices of Botox they differ a lot like they really really differ a lot you can get Botox from as cheap as like $100 to as expensive as $500 per like part of the face so I paid $300 which is about the middle and I chose my doctor because I wanted to go to a doctor like a real doctor and not a nurse because I just feel more comfortable going to a doctor with something like that and the other thing is I checked actually the Google reviews I googled like all of the cosmetic institutes that do Botox near where I live and I checked the Google reviews and the one where I went to he, only, he had like a Google review of 4.8 out of 5 and it, he had like hundreds of reviews and all of them were extremely good and the only negative reviews that they that they had were about the lady um, when you enter with the lady which gets your name makes the, the reservations and stuff like that so no bad reviews about the doctor or the results so that was really reassuring for me and that's how I decided on where to go to do Botox for the very first time and, and then to the results now um, I will first just put in a little clip on how it looked before again so you can have it face to face and also at the beginning I've shown you the line on my forehead and my doctor said well it's there is a good possibility that this line will never go away because maybe the skin just lost so much collagen there that the line won't go away even with Botox and now you see how it is now like it's very it's a very very faint line so that's a plus and that's very reassuring that for me that I think I did this the right thing to do Botox right now oh all in all my experience was amazing I can only put it that way the doctor was great it didn't hurt I had no side effects and the results are exactly what I wanted so I am super happy with my experience and I cannot say I recommend it to you because everyone has to know it for themselves and I would have probably not done it if I weren't studying all the time right now and frowning all the time right now I would have waited a few more years maybe but I'm super happy that I did it and I'm also happy that I now know that it does not hurt at all and that I can still move my face and that no one actually can tell and another reason why I wanted to do it now is because if you do it now you kind of always look the same like if I if I would wait until I'm like 45 50 and then do it and there would be a huge difference if I would like fill it do a facelift whatever you would have to do so much and you would look different so everyone would notice that you did Botox and now no one actually would notice or will notice that I did Botox especially I but if I didn't do this video on the internet but otherwise no one would probably notice because if my boyfriend doesn't notice who sees me all the time then I doubt that anyone else would notice so that's that's a wrap on my experience I really like it I'm happy that I did it with 25 I know it's controversial but I did it I liked to do it and I will do it again so this was it and I will see you in my next video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
because soon I will also upload my Botox brow lift experience and what happened, if there is a difference, <laughs> um, how it was, everything like that. So 